Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few miscellaneous problems on the topic boats and streams so that you can have a better understanding of the concept. Since questions based on this topic are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand the concept well. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. A man takes twice as long to row a distance against the stream as to row the same distance in favor of the stream. Find the ratio of the speed of the boat in still water and speed of the stream. You are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now here, against the stream means upstream. In favor of the stream means downstream. So the man takes uh, twice as long to row upstream as to row downstream for the same distance. This means upstream time is to downstream time is equal to 2 is to 1. Now we know that time is inversely proportional to speed. So if upstream time is to downstream time is equal to 2 is to 1, then upstream speed is to downstream speed will be equal to 1 is to 2. So if the boat's upstream speed is x kilometers per hour, then the boat's down, uh, downstream speed will be 2x kilometers per hour. Now here we are asked to find the ratio of the speed of the boat in still water to the speed of the stream. Now we know that the speed of the boat in still water can be calculated using the formula downstream speed plus upstream speed divided by 2. And speed of the stream can be calculated using the formula downstream speed minus upstream speed divided by 2. Now here we have assumed the upstream speed as x kilometers per hour and the downstream speed as 2x kilometers per hour. Let's substitute these in this formula. So now we have uh, speed in still water is to speed of stream is equal to 2x plus x divided by 2 is to 2x minus x divided by 2. This On solving this, we get 3x divided by 2 is to x divided by 2. We can, we can cancel out these two in the denominator, uh, the two in the denominators and x in the numerators. So we'll be left with 3 is to 1. So the speed of the boat in still the ratio of the speed of the boat in still water and speed of stream is 3 is to 1. So the correct answer is option B, 3 is to 1. A boat covers a certain distance downstream in one hour while it comes back in one and a half hours. If the speed of the stream is 3 kilometers per hour, what is the speed of the boat in still water? You are given four options here and you will find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the speed of the boat in still water. Now it is given that the downstream time is 1 hour and upstream time is 1 and a half hours. One and a half hours is nothing but three by two hour. It's also given that the speed of the stream V is three kilometers per hour. And we are asked to find the speed of the boat in still water, which is U. Now it's given that the downstream distance is equal to the upstream distance. We know that down distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So downstream distance is nothing but downstream speed multiplied by downstream time. 
and upstream distance is nothing but upstream speed multiplied by upstream time now downstream time and upstream time are already given in the uh, problem but we do not know the value of downstream speed and upstream speed so let's find out the value of downstream speed and upstream speed now we know that downstream speed is equal to u plus v that is speed of the boat in still water plus the speed of the stream now we know that the speed of the stream is 3 kilometers per hour so downstream speed is equal to u plus 3 kilometers per hour now upstream speed is nothing but u minus v that is speed of the boat in still water minus speed of the stream since speed of the stream is 3 kilometers per hour upstream speed is u minus 3 kilometers per hour now we know that the downstream time is 1 hour downstream speed is u plus 3 kilometers per hour upstream time is 3 by 2 hours and upstream speed is u minus 3 kilometers per hour now let's substitute all these values in the uh, formula here so now we have u plus 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to u minus 3 multiplied by 3 by 2 on solving this we get u as 15 kilometers per hour and u is nothing but speed of the boat in still water so speed of the boat in still water is 15 kilometers per hour so the correct answer is option d 15 kilometers per hour a man can row at 5 kilometers per hour in still water if the velocity of the current is 1 kilometers per hour it takes him 1 hour and it takes him 1 hour to row to a place and come back how far is the place you are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so here it's given a man can row at 5 uh, kilometers per hour in still water so u is equal to 5 kilometers per hour velocity of the current is 1 kilometer per hour so v is equal to 1 kilometer per hour we are asked to find how far is the place so we are to find the distance now it's given that it takes the man 1 hour to row to a place and come back so total time is 1 hour that is downstream time plus upstream time is equal to 1 hour now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed so downstream time is nothing but downstream distance divided by downstream speed and upstream time is nothing but upstream distance divided by upstream speed so downstream distance divided by downstream speed plus upstream distance divided by upstream speed is equal to 1 now it's given that it takes the man 1 hour to row to a place and come back this means that the downstream distance and upstream distance are the same so let's assume that the downstream distance is equal to the upstream distance and let it be d kilometers so now here in this equation we know that downstream distance is d kilometers and upstream distance is d kilometers but we do not know what is the downstream speed and upstream speed so let's find the values of the downstream speed and upstream speed we know that downstream speed is nothing but the speed of the a uh, boat in still water plus the speed of the current that is u plus v now we know that u is 5 kilometers per hour and v is 1 kilometer per hour so downstream speed is equal to 5 plus 1 which is 6 kilometers per hour upstream speed is nothing but speed of the man in still water minus the speed of the current that is u minus v we know that 
u is 5 kilometers per hour and v is 1 kilometers per hour so upstream speed is 5 minus 1 which is 4 kilometers per hour now we know that downstream distance is equal to upstream distance is equal to d kilometers we have found out that downstream speed is 6 kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 4 kilometers per hour now let's substitute all these values in the equation here so we get d divided by 6 plus d divided by 4 is equal to 1 on solving this we get d is equal to 2.4 kilometers that is the place is 2.4 kilometers away so the correct answer is option a 2.4 kilometers speed of a boat in standing water is 9 kilometers per hour and speed of the stream is 1.5 kilometers per hour a man rows to a place at a distance of 105 kilometers and comes back to the starting point find the total time taken by him you are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now it's given that speed of the boat in standing water is 9 kilometers per hour so u is equal to 9 kilometers per hour and speed of the stream is 1.5 kilometers per hour that is v is equal to 1.5 kilometers per hour it's given a man rows to a place at a distance of 105 kilometers and comes back to the starting point this means that upstream distance is equal to the downstream distance which is equal to 105 kilometers and we are asked to find the total time taken by the man to go to a place and come back to the starting point so total time is equal to downstream time plus upstream time now we know that time is equal to distance upon speed so downstream time is nothing but downstream distance divided by downstream speed and upstream time is nothing but upstream distance divided by upstream speed so total time is equal to downstream distance divided by downstream speed plus upstream distance divided by upstream speed now we know that it's given that the downstream distance is 105 kilometers and upstream distance is also 105 kilometers but we do not know the values of the, the downstream speed and upstream speed so let's first find the values of downstream speed and upstream speed now we know that downstream speed is nothing but uh, the speed of the a boat in still water plus the speed of the a stream that is u plus v it's given that u is equal to 9 and v is equal to 1.5 kilometers per hour so downstream speed is equal to 9 plus 1.5 which is 10.5 kilometers per hour upstream speed is nothing but uh, speed of the boat in still water minus speed of the stream we know that u is equal to 9 kilometers per hour and v is equal to 1.5 kilometers per hour so upstream speed is equal to 9 minus 1.5 which is 7.5 kilometers per hour so now we know downstream distance is 105 kilometers upstream distance is 105 kilometers downstream speed is 10.5 kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 7.5 kilometers per hour let's substitute all these values in the equation here so now we get total time taken is equal to 105 divided by 10.5 plus 105 divided by 7.5 on solving this we get total time taken as 24 hours so the correct answer is option d 24 hours a motorboat whose speed is 15 kilometers per hour in still water goes 30 kilometers downstream and comes back in a total of 4 hours 30 minutes find the speed of the stream in kilometers per hour you are given 
four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now here it's given a motor speed, uh, a motor boat speed is 15 kilometers per hour in still water. So U is equal to 15 kilometers per hour. It goes 30 kilometers downstream and comes back in a total of 4 hours 30 minutes. So downstream distance is equal to upstream distance is equal to 30 kilometers. And the total time taken is given as 4 hours 30 minutes. We know that 60 minutes is 1 hour. So 30 minutes is 30 divided by 60 hours. So 4 hours 30 minutes is nothing but 4 30 by 60 which on simplification will give us 9 by 2 hours. So the total time is 9 by 2 hours. Now we are asked to find the speed of the stream. Now it is given that the total time to go downstream and back is 9 by 2 hours. This means downstream time plus upstream time is equal to 9 by 2. We know that time is equal to distance upon speed. So downstream time is equal to downstream distance divided by downstream speed. And upstream time is equal to upstream distance divided by upstream speed. So downstream distance divided by downstream speed plus upstream distance divided by upstream speed is equal to 9 by 2. Now we know that the downstream distance is 30 kilometers and upstream distance is 30 kilometers. But we do not know the values of the downstream speed and upstream speed. So first let's find the values of the downstream and the upstream speeds. Now let's assume that the speed of the stream is V kilometers per hour. Then downstream speed is equal to speed of the boat in still water plus sp uh, speed of the stream. We know that the speed of the boat is 15 kilometers per hour. So downstream speed is equal to 15 plus V kilometers per hour. Upstream speed is equal to the speed of the boat in still water minus the speed of the stream. We know that speed of the boat is 15 kilometers per hour. So upstream speed is equal to 15 minus V kilometers per hour. So now we know that downstream distance is 30 kilometers. Upstream distance is 30 kilometers. Downstream speed is 15 plus V kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 15 minus V kilometers per hour. Let's substitute all these values in the equation here. So now we have 30 divided by 15 plus V plus 30 divided by 15 minus V is equal to 9 by 2. On solving this we get V is equal to 5 kilometers per hour. And V is nothing but the speed of the stream. So speed of the stream is 5 kilometers per hour. So the correct answer is option B, 5. A boat takes 90 minutes less to travel 36 miles downstream than to travel the same distance upstream. If the speed of the boat in still water is 10 miles per hour, what is the speed of the stream? You are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now from the given problem we can understand that the downstream distance is equal to upstream distance is equal to 36 miles. It's given that speed of the boat in still water is 10 miles per hour. And we are asked to find the speed of the stream. Let's assume that the speed of the stream is V miles per hour. Now it's given that the boat takes 90 minutes less to travel downstream as compared to traveling the same distance upstream. This means that the difference in time taken to travel downstream and upstream is 90 minutes. 
90 minutes when converted to hours will be 3 by 2 hours. So, difference in time taken to travel downstream and upstream is 3 by 2 hours. That is downstream time minus upstream time is equal to 3 by 2. Now, we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. So, downstream time is nothing but downstream distance divided by downstream speed. And upstream time is nothing but upstream distance divided by upstream speed. So, now we have downstream distance divided by downstream speed minus upstream distance divided by upstream speed is equal to 3 by 2. Now, we know that the uh, downstream distance is equal to 36 miles and upstream distance is equal to 36 miles. But we do not know the values of the downstream and the upstream speeds. So first let's find the values of the downstream and the upstream speeds. Now downstream speed is nothing but the speed of the boat in still water plus the speed of the stream. Now it is given that the speed of the boat in still water is 10 miles per hour. So downstream speed is equal to 10 plus V miles per hour. Upstream speed is nothing but speed of the boat in still water minus sp speed of the stream. We know that the speed of the boat in still water is 10 miles per hour. So upstream speed is equal to 10 minus V miles per hour. Now we know that the downstream distance is 36 miles. Upstream distance is 36 miles. Downstream speed is 10 plus V miles per hour. And upstream speed is 10 minus V miles per hour. Let's substitute all these values in the equation here. So now we have 36 divided by 10 plus V minus 36 divided by 10 minus V is equal to 3 by 2. On simplification, we get V squared minus 100 plus 48V is equal to 100. Now, it's easier to solve this equation by using the given options. Now, let's consider each of the options one by one. And let's substitute V with the value given in the uh, options. So, let's consider option A first. Option A is 2 miles per hour. So let's substitute V with 2. So here we have V squared that is 2 squared which is 4. And here it is 48V. So 48 multiplied by 2 is 96. So now we have uh, 4 minus 100 plus 96. Let's see if this uh, equals to 0. So 4 plus 96 is 100 and 100 minus 100 is 0. So option A satisfies the condition given in the equation. So this, so V, the speed of the stream is 2 miles per hour. So the correct answer is option A, 2 miles per hour. A man rows to a place 48 kilometers distant and comes back in 14 hours. He finds that he can row 4 kilometers with the stream in the same time as 3 kilometers against the stream. What is the rate of the stream? You are given 4 options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the rate of the stream. We know that the rate of the stream can be calculated using the formula downstream speed minus upstream speed divided by 2. But we do not know the values of the downstream speed and upstream speed. So if we find out the values of the downstream speed and the upstream speed, then we can easily calculate the rate of the stream. So first let's find out the values of the downstream speed and upstream speed. Now it's given that the man can row 4 kilometers with the stream in the same time as 3 kilometers against the stream. 
with the stream means downstream and against the stream means upstream so in the same time the man can row 4 kilometers downstream whereas he can row only 3 kilometers upstream now let's suppose that he rows 4 kilometers downstream in 6 hours then downstream speed will be equal to uh, 4 by 6 kilometers per hour since a uh, speed is equal to distance divided by time downstream speed will be equal to downstream distance divided by downstream time which is nothing but 4 by x kilometers per hour now the man can row 3 kilometers upstream in the same time that is he can row 3 kilometers upstream in 6 hours now upstream speed is nothing but upstream distance divided by upstream time so upstream speed is equal to 3 by x kilometers per hour now it's given that the man rows to a place 48 kilometers distant and comes back in 14 hours so downstream time plus upstream time is equal to 14 now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed so downstream time is nothing but downstream distance divided by downstream speed and upstream time is nothing but upstream distance divided by upstream speed so now we have downstream distance divided by downstream speed plus upstream distance divided by upstream speed is equal to 14 now from the given problem we know that downstream distance is equal to upstream distance which is equal to 48 kilometers so downstream distance is 48 kilometers upstream distance is 48 kilometers we have found out that the downstream speed is 4 by x kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 3 by 6 kilometers per hour so let's substitute all these values in the equation here so now we have 48 divided by 4 by x plus 48 divided by 3 by x is equal to 14 on solving this we get x is equal to 1 by 2 hour now we know that the downstream speed is equal to 4 by x kilometers per hour and x is 1 by 2 hours on substituting the value of x here we get downstream speed is equal to 8 kilometers per hour also we know that upstream speed is equal to 3 by x kilometers per hour since we know the value of x as 1 by 2 hour substituting the value of x here we get upstream speed is equal to 6 kilometers per hour so now we know that the downstream speed is 8 kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 6 kilometers per hour so now let's substitute these values in the formula here so rate of the stream is equal to 8 minus 6 divided by 2 which is 1 kilometer per hour so the correct answer is option a 1 kilometer per hour a man went downstream for 28 kilometers in a motor boat and immediately returned it took the man twice as long to make the return trip if the speed of the river flow were twice as high the trip downstream and back would take 672 minutes find the speed of the boat in still water and speed of the river flow here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so here you are asked to find the speed of the boat in uh, still water and also the speed of the river flow now it is given that the man went downstream for 28 kilometers in a motor boat and immediately returned so his downstream distance is equal to the upstream distance so downstream distance is equal to upstream distance is equal to 28 kilometers now we are asked to find the speed of the boat in still water 
So let the speed of the boat in still water be u kilometers per hour. Also, you are asked to find the speed of the river flow. So let the speed of the river flow be v kilometers per hour. Now it's given that it took the man twice as long to make the return trip. This means that the man, the man's upstream time was twice his downstream time. So 2 multiplied by downstream time is equal to upstream time. Now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. So downstream time is nothing but downstream distance divided by downstream speed. Also upstream time is nothing but upstream uh, distance divided by upstream speed. So now we have 2 multiplied by downstream distance divided by downstream speed is equal to upstream distance divided by upstream speed. Now it's given that downstream distance is 28 kilometers, upstream distance is 28 kilometers. Now we know that downstream speed is nothing but speed of the boat plus speed of the river. So downstream speed is nothing but u plus v. Also upstream speed is equal to the speed of the boat minus the speed of the river. So upstream speed is equal to u minus v. So substituting all these values in the equation here we get 2 multiplied by 28 divided by u plus v is equal to 28 divided by u minus v. On solving this we get u is equal to 3v. Now it's given that if the speed of the river flow were twice as high. So earlier the speed of the river was v kilometers per hour. So now the speed of the river is 2v kilometers per hour. Now if the speed of the river flow were twice as high, the trip downstream and back would take 672 minutes. 672 minutes when converted to hours is 672 divided by 60 hours. So speed of the river flow is 2v and total time is equal to 672 by 60 hours. So if the, if the speed of the river flow were twice as high, the trip downstream and back would take 672 minutes means the downstream time plus upstream time is equal to 672 minutes. Since time is equal to distance upon speed, downstream uh, time is nothing but downstream distance divided by downstream speed and upstream Time is nothing but upstream distance divided by upstream speed. So now we have downstream distance divided by downstream speed plus upstream distance divided by upstream speed is equal to 672 by 60. We know that the downstream distance is 28 kilometers. Upstream distance is 28 kilometers. Downstream speed is equal to the uh, speed of the boat plus speed of the river. Now we know that the speed of the boat is 3v. So downstream speed and speed of the river is 2v. So downstream speed is 3v plus 2v. Now upstream speed is equal to speed of the uh, boat minus speed of the river. We know that speed of the boat is 3v and speed of the river is 2v. So upstream speed is 3v minus 2v. Substituting all these values in the equation here, we get 28 divided by 3v plus 2v plus 28 divided by 3v minus 2v is equal to 672 divided by 60. On solving this, we get V is equal to 3 kilometers per hour. Now we know that U is equal to 3V. We know the value of V as 3. So U is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 which is 9 kilometers per hour. Now here 
u is the speed of the boat in still water and this is 9 kilometers per hour and v is the speed of the river flow and this is 3 kilometers per hour so the speed of the boat in still water is 9 kilometers per hour and speed of the river flow is 3 kilometers per hour so the correct answer is option b 9 kilometers per hour and 3 kilometers per hour a boy can swim in still water at 4.5 kilometers per hour but takes twice as long to swim upstream than downstream what is the speed of the stream you are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now it is given that the boy can swim in still water at 4.5 kilometers per hour so speed of the boy is 4.5 kilometers per hour we are asked to find the speed of the stream so let the speed of the stream be v kilometers per hour from the problem it's clear that the downstream distance is equal to upstream distance we know that distance is equal to time multiplied by speed so downstream distance is nothing but downstream time multiplied by downstream speed and upstream distance is nothing but upstream time multiplied by upstream speed so now we have downstream distance is equal to downstream distance means downstream time multiplied by downstream speed is equal to upstream time multiplied by upstream speed now it's given that the boy takes twice as long to swim upstream than downstream it means that he takes a uh, uh, twice the time to swim upstream than downstream that is upstream time is is to downstream time is equal to 2 is to 1 that is if his downstream time is 1 hour then his upstream time will be 2 hours so now we know that downstream time is 1 hour and upstream time is 2 hours now downstream speed is equal to the speed of the boy plus the speed of the stream we know that the speed of the boy is 4.5 kilometers per hour so downstream speed is equal to 4.5 plus v now upstream speed is equal to speed of the boy minus speed of the uh, stream since speed of the boy is 4.5 kilometers per hour upstream speed is equal to 4.5 minus v now substituting all these value in the equation here we get 1 multiplied by 4.5 plus v is equal to 2 multiplied by 4.5 minus v on solving this we get v is equal to 1.5 kilometers per hour and v is nothing but the speed of the stream so speed of the stream is 1.5 kilometers per hour so the correct answer is option d 1.5 kilometers per hour a boat takes 19 hours for traveling downstream from point a to point b and coming back to a point c which is at midway between a and b if the velocity of the stream is 4 kilometers per hour and speed of the boat in still water is 14 kilometers per hour what is the distance between a and b you are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so here you are asked to find the distance between a and b now it's given that the speed of the boat in still water is 14 kilometers per hour and speed of the stream is 4 kilometers per hour it is given that a boat takes 19 hours for traveling downstream from point a to point b and coming back to a point c which is at midway between a and b this means downstream time from a to b plus upstream time from b to c is equal to 19 hours now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed so 
downstream time is nothing but downstream distance divided by downstream speed and upstream time is nothing but upstream distance divided by upstream speed so now we have downstream distance divided by downstream speed plus upstream distance divided by upstream speed is equal to 19 now we do not know the value of downstream distance upstream distance downstream speed or upstream speed so let's calculate all those now let the distance between a and b be x kilometers so the downstream distance is x kilometers it's given that c is at a midway point between a and b so the distance between b and c is x by 2 kilometers so the upstream distance is x by 2 kilometers now we know that speed of the boat in still water is 14 kilometers per hour and speed of stream is 4 kilometers per hour so downstream speed is equal to speed of the boat in still water plus speed of stream which is 14 plus 4 kilometers per hour which is nothing but 18 kilometers per hour so downstream speed is 18 kilometers per hour upstream speed is speed of boat in still water minus speed of stream so 14 minus 4 which is 10 kilometers per hour so upstream speed is 10 kilometers per hour substituting all these values in the equation here we get x by 18 plus x by 2 divided by 10 is equal to 19 on solving this we get x is equal to 180 kilometers x is nothing but the distance between a and b so the distance between a and b is 180 kilometers the correct answer is option a 180 kilometers A boat sails 15 kilometers of a river towards upstream in 5 hours. How long will it take to cover the same distance downstream if the speed of current is one fourth the speed of the boat in still water? Here you are given 4 options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the downstream time. We know that downstream time is equal to downstream distance divided by downstream speed. Now from the problem it's clear that downstream distance is equal to upstream distance which is 15 kilometers. So downstream distance is 15 kilometers. But we do not know the value of the downstream speed. So since we know the value of downstream distance if we can find the value of downstream speed then we can calculate downstream time easily now if u is the speed of the boat in still water and v is the speed of the current then downstream speed is equal to u plus v that is speed of the boat in still water plus speed of the current but we do not know the values of u and v so to calculate downstream speed first we have to calculate the values of u and v now it's given that a boat sails 15 kilometers of a river upstream in 5 hours this means that the upstream distance is 15 kilometers and upstream time is 5 hours from this uh, data we can clearly um, calculate the upstream speed upstream speed is equal to upstream distance divided by upstream upstream speed is equal to upstream distance divided by upstream time so upstream uh, speed is equal to 15 divided by 5 which is 3 kilometers per hour now we know that upstream speed is equal to sp uh, speed of the boat in still water minus speed of the current that is upstream speed is equal to u minus v where u is the speed of the boat in still water and v is the speed of the current so u minus v is equal to 3 kilometers per hour 
Now it's given that speed of the current is one fourth the speed of the boat in still water. Now we know that speed of the current is V and speed of the boat in still water is U. So U divided by 4 is equal to V. On cross multiplication we get U is equal to 4V. So now we know that U minus V is equal to 3 and U is equal to 4V. Substituting the value of U in this equation we get 4V minus V is equal to 3 that is V is equal to 1 kilometer per hour. Now if V is 1 kilometers per hour then U which is 4V will be 4 kilometers per hour. So now we have found out the values of U and V. U is 4 kilometers per hour and V is 1 kilometers per hour. From these two values we can easily calculate the downstream speed. Downstream speed is equal to U plus V. So downstream speed is equal to 4 plus 1 which is 5 kilometers per hour. We know that downstream distance is 15 kilometers. So substituting these values in the formula here we get downstream time is equal to 15 divided by 5 which is 3 hours. So the correct answer is option B, 3 hours. A boatman can row 96 kilometers downstream in 8 hours. If the speed of the current is 4 kilometers per hour, then find in what time he'll be able to cover 8 kilometers upstream. So here you're given 4 options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you're asked to find what time is taken by the boatman to cover 8 km upstream. Now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. So upstream time is equal to upstream distance divided by upstream speed. We know that uh, upstream distance is 8 km. This is given in the problem. So upstream distance is 8 kilometers, but we do not know the value of the upstream speed. So if we can calculate the value of the upstream speed, then we can easily calculate the value of the upstream time. Now we know that upstream speed is equal to speed of the uh, boatman in still water minus speed of the current. That is upstream speed is equal to U minus V where U is the uh, speed of the boatman in still water and V is the uh, speed of the current. So we are asked to, so first we have to find the upstream speed that is U minus V. Now it's given that the speed of the current is 4 kilometers per hour. Speed of the current is V. So V is equal to 4 kilometers per hour. So now we know the value of V, but we do not know the value of U. So for, first let's find the value of U. Then we can, uh, then we, with the values of U and V, we can calculate the value of the upstream speed. Now it's given that the downstream distance is 96 kilometers and downstream time is 8 hours. We know that speed is equal to distance divided by time. That is downstream speed is equal to downstream distance divided by downstream time. Since downstream distance is 96 kilometers and downstream time is 8 hours, downstream speed will be equal to 96 divided by 8 which is 12 kilometers per hour. Now we know that downstream speed is equal to uh, U plus V where U is the speed of the boatman in still water and V is the speed of the current. So we have uh, found out that downstream speed is 12 kilometers per hour which means U plus V is 12 kilometers per hour. It's given that V is equal to 4 kilometers per hour. So substituting the value of V in this equation, we, we get 
the value of u as 12 minus 4 which is 8 kilometers per hour and u is nothing but the speed of the boatman in still water so now we know the value of u as 8 kilometers per hour and it's given that v is equal to 4 kilometers per hour so upstream speed is equal to u minus v which is 8 minus 4 that is 4 kilometers per hour now we know that the upstream distance is 8 kilometers and upstream speed we have calculated now as 4 kilometers per hour from these values we can calculate the upstream time so the time taken to cover 8 kilometers upstream is equal to 8 divided by 4 which is 2 hours so the correct answer is option d Two hours. Viewers, please go through this video till you have understood the concept. Practice more such problems to increase your speed and also to understand the concept clearly. Please do watch all our videos on the topic races. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you.